What you're looking at isn't just a trailer. It's a territory and controlled by dozens of spiders. Web structures cover every corner, and among them, the remains of old prey still hang like warnings left behind. It's an invisible trap few have ever escaped from. Every corner has been colonized to the point where there's no room for a single spider more. But among them all, one stands out, the one that owns the largest share of territory inside this forgotten trailer. The cunning spider is about to receive the reward of her patience. Something has fallen into her trap. A wasp has fallen into the vast sprawling web of this spider. A Stetota, also known as the False Black Widow. With a web much larger than those of her neighbors, she has more food, more territory, and more power. As I watched, I found something unexpected. Beneath the trailer, a wasp nest, and one of them fell into the spider's web. The Steatota ties down the wasp as fast as she can, starting with its legs, then trying to trap its wings before it escapes. But she must be careful. One brush with its natural defense, and it could all be over. It can detect through the slightest vibrations whether what has fallen is dangerous or harmless. It can even adjust its strategy based on the size or behavior of the intruder. It's an evaluation system, almost automatic. It seemed like it was all over for the wasp, but this spider wasn't alone. Another hunter was watching from a distance. Silently, she analyzed every movement, waiting for the perfect moment to intervene. Then something happened. Something that makes me believe the spider sense is real. The false black widow left her prey and hid, as if a sudden feeling rushed through her entire body, warning her of what was coming. The spider couldn't afford to leave her prey alone for too long. It would eventually find a way to escape, but she didn't act on instinct alone. She seemed to be analyzing the situation. Then an idea came to her. She rushed to the wasp and dragged it to her lair as fast as she could, in a way I had never seen before. But her worst nightmare had already arrived. A true Latrodectus better known as the Black Widow, lived beneath the trailer, and her threads connected to the Steotota's web had alerted her to what was happening. The Steotota hid in her shelter, but it was already too late. The Latrodectus had likely been watching her for some time, and this time, she wasn't just here to steal her catch. She wanted something more. Though the False Widow was a skilled hunter, she was no match for such a beast, and this is how a queen falls, along with her reign. Once the throne is taken, she will feast in peace and reshape the web as she pleases, weaving a new network over the remains of what once was. This is what happens when multiple hunters share such a small space, an unstable balance where every move could mean the end for another. But under the watchful eyes of the forest creatures, something else was about to happen. At the front of the trailer, a group of giant ants began exploring beyond their territory. They were searching for insects, because Campanotus ants don't just gather, they hunt. But without realizing it, they were stepping into the territory of one of the spiders. She watched them silently, patiently, waiting for a single mistake. Driven by the task of carrying a small worm, three ants made it to the trap. But the spider is clever. She knows she can't take on all three. So with precision, she chose the weakest one. With unmatched cunning, she launched a burst of sticky silk at one of them, then retreated like lightning. All she had to do was wait, 
Sooner or later, the other two would leave, abandoning their sister. But these ants aren't just any ants. They're not only explorers, or they're gladiators. They know no fear, and they'll hunt down the spider to settle the score. They search in vain for the cunning spider. While just inches away, their companion is already completely bound. Then the awaited moment arrived. The spider emerged from her hiding place, and seeing the coast clear, went to claim her meal. The mandibles of Campanotus ants are precise gripping tools, designed to handle objects, defend themselves, and face challenges with impressive strength for their size. Once the spider has completed her task, another Stetoda, her neighbor, seems to have noticed that something has happened and slowly comes out to observe. But she's smaller than her neighbor, and getting too close could come at a high price, let alone trying to steal her catch, especially with one of those ants still nearby. So she simply watches, her moment will come. Meanwhile, both ants end their search and leave the area, fading into an unsettling silence. <laughs>